Hello YouTube, just wanted to show you some cleft grafts that I recently did and this is a wampi, it's um, a fruit from Southeast Asia that we have here in Australia and um, all I did was I snipped the top there and um, I, I cut it in two and then I stuck this sign in and it's taken, it's very good heel and I'm start I'm just about to put my grafting paste over the top and then this one will be done. I'm just going to show you my next one which is a lot better. This one here. So as you can see that one's a very good heel and this one's actually taken off quite well as well. Yeah it's a good heel so I'm going to put some grafting um, paste over it. So I found that with cleft grafts on Wampy they work very well. Now to another type of graft that I want to show here, just bring it into the light actually, is this. This is a veneer graft. Um, this one's slightly different. I'll just um, steady the pot actually and then I'll show you how I did it. So all you do is um, you cut a thin slice out of one side and that's called the veneer side because it's a very thin slice of living wood and then you stick in your um, your grafting wood and then all you do is you wrap it up tightly. Um, I do prefer the cleft graft. This is my first time doing the uh, veneer and I don't like it. The vigor is not actually inside the graft. It goes continues up the top here. So when you do it, uh, straight after you do this graft here, you cut off the top so that most of the energy stays in the bottom. I found that it's not enough vigor and the binding on the veneer side, sorry, I found that the binding on the veneer side is, isn't that great at all. Um, but this is just a technique that it's good to know and I'll always be practicing this. It's not to say that the veneer graft is bad, many commercial nurseries use it, it's just that to my taste, I don't like it. So that's bound. Um, after you've after you know that it's taken, what you do is you continue to cut this off, there, like that. You continue to cut it, leaving one leaf, so that the rest of the energy, the plant's energy, goes into that one graft so that it heals over quickly and, um, and so that it can take off. Just remember, leave one leaf, at least one leaf, so that the energy goes into that. Some people break that branch, I just prefer clean cut, don't want any fungal infections. I'll show you my last veneer. Oh, sorry. It's so hard when you're, you're the only one at home. Okay. I'll show you this last one. As you can see, it's, it's a good heel. It's come in very well and on that veneer side, you can see it's a very thin sliver of wood. Um, it's just not my preferred graft for the moment. That one is alive, um, but just to give it a helping hand, I'm going to have to snip off the top. Okay. And the ironic thing is, I thought the veneer graft was going to be uh, the more vigorous of the two, so I put the veneer grafts on the most vigorous plants that I had. Um, and maybe it was a good thing I put on the most vigorous plants because they've just taken, they're, they're, um, they're not as strong or maybe not as suited for this plant, this type of uh, plant. So I'm just going to proceed to put um, grafting wax over it and hopefully they all sort of take off just like uh, my cleft grafted ones which seem to be doing fine.